All right, Vivo Barefoot Primus Trail 2. Barefoot shoe, maybe you've already done some research on these, maybe not, but these are the Primus Trail FG all weather slash winter edition. And they're pretty awesome. They're basically the same as the Primus Trail 2 FG, the firm ground, um, just with some slight differences in some materials and whatnot uh, to make it better for winter and summer application. So I already reviewed the original Primus Trails and freaking love them. You can check the original review I did on them like right here. And I freaking love those shoes. They're some of my favorite shoes I've ever had. But I decided that I want to go try out the all weather slash winter ones, which are waterproof, weatherproof, and whatnot. So, as for the similarities, they're basically the same as the originals. They have this nice grippy tread here, which, to be fair, compared to other barefoot shoes, kind of does remove that pure barefoot feeling that, you know, super thin to the ground. However, you still get good feeling for the ground. On the other hand, you get really, really good grip. Like, I've never had a problem with grip on any surface, especially these are freaking awesome for mountain bike pedals. If you're into mountain biking and you want barefoot shoes, these are freaking stellar for that. And so the upper here is slightly reinvented. Instead of that mesh, you have this kind of, um, it feels like a fabric. It's really like um, kind of like a neoprene that you'd find on a wetsuit, but it's water repellent. It's not waterproof per se. It won't stop water coming in entirely. I'll actually grab some water and show you. So as we see this beautiful little upper here. Oh fuck, that's all over my keyboard. <laughs> all right, whoopsie, you got that all over my laptop. As I see with the shoe here, this kind of fabric will Right, the water just kind of beads off for the most part. We went on a little trip to Zexische Schweiz and we got nailed by a torrential downpour. And survive a bit. Completely soaked, completely wet. I didn't even have socks on, but I had these shoes and these shoes really saved my ass because turns out that this insulating layer really insulated really well and my feet actually stayed warm throughout all that evening morning my feet were drenched completely soaking um but thankfully this warming neoprene type layer really you know kept me from getting cold feet we were able to get a little bit of sleep so so yeah this kind of layer is good for light rain for you know beating off a little bit but won't stop you from getting drenched in a heavy downpour but your feet will stay warm, which is big. But let's talk about the sole here. So this tread pattern is actually super nice. They're a little, uh, little chunky. It doesn't remove that barefoot feel entirely, but it definitely kind of interferes with that true like foot to ground kind of feeling. But these lugs are freaking terrific for gripping onto bike pedals, mountain biking pedals. So if you want to go mountain biking with barefoot shoes, I'd recommend something like these or, or the Magna trails are really nice for mountain biking. Um, a similar tread pattern. I have it in a mountain biking with barefoot shoes post right there. So I totally recommend those. But so in terms of these, they're really great for running trail running, uh, winter hiking, walking, camping, backpacking. I really like them. They're fairly lightweight. They're not like crazy light, but they're lightweight. I always took out the sole because that just um, helps improve that barefoot feeling. But if you're getting really cold feet or you're in the winter, you could just slip that kind of thermal sole in there and that'll help out for sure. Since this is the all weather slash winter version, they don't really do so hot in the um, warmer seasons because, well, they do hot in the warmer seasons because once it's above 20, 25 degrees Celsius and you're running, your feet get a lot sweaty, they get pretty warm. And in that case, I would just recommend the usual Vivo Barefoot firm ground or the knit ones if you're in an especially warm climate because those breathe super, super nicely. These have some other cool little things in. I really love the lacing system that Vivo Barefoot uses on um, their shoes because it's like robust, it's quick and easy to lace up. And that's actually really cute. These little laces are reflective. So if you're doing biking or whatever, you just want to be seen. Yep. 
reflective little highlights on the laces. Honestly, there is actually nowhere that I couldn't go with the Primus Trails. I even used the Primus Trails going up Devil's Head, a very challenging mountain in the Canadian Rockies. Stellar for rock climbing, for scrambling. I mean, there are some problems when it comes to like scrambling because like rock and grit gets in all around your ankles here and it's like, ah, you know, so keep that in mind. It's kind of a pain in the ass if I'm honest. Also, I have a 25% code off of Vivo Barefoot Shoes. You just hit it in the description, you click that link and you're able to like get a discount. I don't actually profit from that code. Um, you just, it's the kind of refer a friend thing. So I guess you're my friend. And um, yeah, you can just get 25% off. If you do want to support me, however, I do have like a link to the Vivo Barefoot website. And if you follow through to that website link, that tiddly link, you click and you buy something on the website, then I gain a little commission, just full disclaimer. I actually really do like Vivo Barefoot. They're doing some pretty cool stuff. I've been using their shoes for like three, four years at this point. They literally changed my life, no joke. I mean, I'm about a couple months in with these bad boys now and they're holding up fairly well. Um, however, like all Vivo Barefoot shoes I've actually had, they started developing like um, like wear in the crease here on the foot box and whatnot. So, I mean, they're really good though. They're built well. They look more like regular shoes. They fit damned well. In terms of sizing, uh, I wear like a 44, 45. I wear, it, when it goes to barefoot shoes, just size a half size or one size up, just because they fit differently than say Adidas or Nike or whatever. I also have a sizing barefoot shoes guide. Uh, if you're con coming from Adidas or Nike, uh, that's on my blog. You can check that out and find info there. But in terms of what's the best barefoot shoe for hiking or running or whatever, um, there's a lot of, you know, little differences between the different Primus trails. I actually did make a guide on FG versus SG versus NIT versus all weather slash winter Primus trails. So click that if you're actually keen on kind of finding out more about the differences between them. And although just like the original Primus trails, they're about my favorite shoe that I've ever used so far. I would personally just go for the regular mesh version unless you have like a use case or you live in a cold climate you know, Northern Europe or in Canada or the Northern States, you probably will be better suited by these ones just because they're that bit warmer and um, they don't let in sediment as easily either. Sand and sediment and shit does not come in through here, which is nice. It will come in around the ankles here, but not through here. So in terms of like other Vivo barefoot shoes, I have the Tempest here, which I really like. They're also, they're more for swim run stuff and the Magna Trails. They're also for trails. Uh, you can check the Magna Trail review there too, another link. Um, these are much more robust and stuff. However, these are much more agile and stuff, you know, much more capable for trail running, much lighter on the feet, more breathable. Really like I have no complaints I know a lot of Vivo Barefoot shoes do wear at these corners pretty quickly, so I hope maybe they've improved on that. But the materials are nice, and all in all, they're freaking great shoes. I have not a single complaint about them. Anyways, I hope you actually liked this um, quick Vivo Barefoot Primus Trail review. If you do, please help support me. Also, stay tuned, because <laughs> just like Zexy Schweitz, I have a lot of crazy adventures coming. Um, and you'll want to see them because they are actually pretty freaking strange. So, yep. Peace. Okay, I gotta clean my freaking table now.